Hey you, I'm Phil and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. So, I'm very glad that we're getting back on track after our, well, it was a few episodes ago. Now, the disastrous raid. Now, I, I'm guessing Cassandra is apologising, but not sending anything bad towards us so far. But rest assured, I can see another bad raid coming through. I'm hoping it's just tribals. Tribals aren't too bad to deal with, but power is gone. We also need a better power system than what we're using currently. Solar generator. So, let's get started, shall we? Now, thinking we'll just leave the power system down here. We've got a lot of extra room than we do at the top. I'm thinking just of turning this more into just a storage yard, possibly. You know, trying to isolate or just um, def give some definitive boundaries to where we put our items and how we build around it. Um, you can consider in real life, uh, industrial areas are most times separate to um, housing. Or you might find the odd house that's tucked in an industrial neighbourhood because of historical reasons. But that's what I'm thinking, is maybe this can be just turned into one big storage yard for steel chunks, uh, steel, steel oh, slag blocks and what's this armor vest oh i forbid that and a sniper wait a second no one's okay got a bit puzzled i thought jabeir was uh, having a bit of an attack but he's not anywho so that's what i'm thinking storage will keep up there this time make this all our growing zone remember that plants aren't exactly good um potato plants i don't think will have had any um quality yeah because it's based on the train blot the model of this area is neutral compared to the swamp, more marshy area I'm guessing, yep, marshy soil, which I believe is actually higher in nutrients, don't quote me on that. Now another thing that Kathra has suggested is rice, because it grows faster and it does actually contain the same nutritional value, though I believe, let's see if I'm correct on this, check our growing zone here, so where's rice, rice, rice plant. The yield is what I'm curious about. So lifespan, growing time, probability. Hmm, I don't see the yield. Yields food fast, but it's not nice to eat uncooked. Okay, I just, for some reason I'm getting the impression that rice is... Um, rice wasn't as nutritious as potatoes. Though I guess potatoes have a lot of starch in real life. and. Sidetrack, um, no, and the fact that since rice, rice you also have to balance correctly. If you're putting it on gravel, gravelly soils, it doesn't grow as fast. Though putting it in marshy areas and, well, high quality nutrient dirt. Okay, we can see in the bottom right, the bottom left, sorry, that this soil where my mouse is, is walk speed 87% and fertility 100. And fertility is... Okay, I actually lie, so marshy soil is only 70% fertile. You think it's the same over here? Yeah. Potatoes are hardy, so they won't mind about the fertility, but if we want to grow some rice, best thing would be to grow it, let's de click that, along here, because this seems to be all 100% fertility, and we'll get a very fast yield from that. So that's probably what I'll do. Uh, I'm not too sure about the building anymore. Because, okay, the two other things that I would like to grow, so we do have a nice presentation patch here. We have got our uh, smoke leaf. Also, Cather, you, you've been giving some good suggestions. You are awesome. But uh, a simple crafting spot is what was suggested, so let me see if we can spot it. Uh, wait a second, it says it under miscellaneous? Here we are. Production. Crafting spot. So, so, just this crafting spot is all that's required to uh, supposedly roll the uh, roll the joints for this smoked leaf. Is it smoked leaf? Smoked leaf plant, yep. So, I'm just going to see where can we put it. Now, this was our, technically our construction, er construction area, but um, just wondering, is there a better place to put things now? Hmm, I think not. I'm going to put the construction area down here, like, probably... Can we double use a chair? No, actually, I'll just I'll leave one space at least. Yep, we've got a bit of space towards the doors, and we have these power conduits. No, we have these beds. Oop, that's still power conduit. Beds. So, like I said, I've been using these, uh, if you haven't seen in previous episodes, to spot if a colonist doesn't actually have a bed. 
So I know that during the night if the columns are sleeping here, they don't actually have a bed assigned to them. Or, and then I can see if there's an actual spare bed to use. So, that's something. Anyhow, crafting spot. Bills. Add a bill. So we can. How about that? Smoked leaf joint. Now, I do suspect that that's probably the easiest, uh, easiest, um, what do you call it, drug to make. So we'll do until we have, uh, let's say the colonist smokes one a day. I'm guessing because there's also settings for it. be interesting to take a close look. So, let's say we want to make, well, there's one, two, three, four, five colonists. We say smokes in, well, one a day at most. Hopefully not that many. I could be pretty stoned after that. Unless that's tobacco. Who knows? So five a day, and we just say enough for seven. We'll put the mark up to 35, actually. I think will do us fine. Probably not as many as we need, but 35 will do the trick, I think. Okay, so when we get some smoked leaf, we will be able to uh, start smoking some rolls, and we'll take a look at these, uh, just a quick query at these settings. So we do have managed drug policy. So we can set a policy. Now, I don't think I'll play with this until we actually have some smoked leaf around. But we're getting closer. It is, well, it does take a long time to grow. But it, it's getting there slowly. So that's a heel root. What, what was the other thing? And rice and trees. So if I were to leave this area for power production, I will definitely want to double wool it. Because personally, I'd, I would say that's an, an attack, point of attack, or something that they may be more interested in attacking. Uh, we still do run the risk since this area is incredibly open. Boss, he thought he is to pull a wall over to here and up to maybe about center and center again. It'd be a couple of doors. And that should be enough to wall off this area, but I, the whole, the other side of this is that this area is meant to encourage people to come down past our defenses, which also do get a bad rating because of the sappers, because sappers prefer place, uh, they will actively avoid uh, turrets. So unless I sprinkle turrets around the base, which I have no intention to, that will be, well that will be how, yeah. More, like I said, this area is for encouragement, get them to come down here past our defences. Now let's just double see what we can do, so, ooh, we've got a fermenting barrel, that's for beer. That's right, we also have beer. We got brewing at the very end of, was it the previous episode? I can't, ooh, I can't recall. Uh, there we are, that's what happened in our raid. Uh, in the siege that we had. Right down. Quite shocking, so we lost items and, let's see, which one? They both look yellow. Doesn't help me. And I'm guessing it's green and it's orange and that's yellow. Yep, okay. That's needless to say it was bad. Let's just get around to building something and getting things going. So we can do some brewing. So let's see if we can make a few other growing areas. Now let's see, major break risk, yep, that's not be typical. Uh, but if we want to build a wall or even some basic defenses, so leave some space over there to consider in the future. And I think now this building uh I think I'll still keep the building here just for the sake of it. You could, turn it in, you could treat it as like a backyard shed or. A, yeah, probably a backyard shed. I was going to uh, suggest an. Better say Arboretum. Uh, is that what it is? Who knows? My mind's a little bit blip 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 at the moment. So. I think we'll be fine to go right up against the wall. People can still walk around the place. I'll define them into the same regions again. So just at the moment, it's more like a grid pattern happening at the moment, apart from this one entrance, which is a little odd, but uh, we'll deal with that. So we'll make one of these rice, one of these is going to be, not tobacco, but barley. Let's see, hop plants, yeah, hops, because that's what it's made out of, and the other one was going to be trees. That said, we could also do strawberry plants. Let's get some a bit of diversity around the place. So make the center one strawberries. We don't need too many strawberries. You know, too much of one. Uh, too much of one thing It'll make you dislike it. And I'm thinking, because also some hay grass or something for the animals to eat might be something. Though it may be easier, as I think. Uh, once again, we'll, we'll give them the suggestion of uh, putting it out here, right where we have penned these megatheriums. But they are 
surviving quite fine as it is, but it's, it's something to consider. It's not a bad idea. It's actually a good idea, what am I saying? Um, make just a small 6x6 six six crop and we'll turn this one into hay grass because we know the animals can eat that. Just double checking. Yep, edible for humans. Uh, edible for animals, sorry. So hay grass is this one. Mm, hay grass. Then down here is potatoes. This will be rice. Let's see. Corn, rice plants. Yep, rice. And then potato plants. Now this one we might turn into well we got cotton is another thing so we could build um build plants no build clothing so is that or we could uh, get the cycled plant but i don't think we're anywhere near getting enough uh, components huh well i think it will be best if we go towards where is it probably cotton because we've got the rice we've got potatoes we've got corn we've got a few flowers we've got the smoked leaf Yep, corn. Corn? Cotton. Plants, rice, yep, I'm satisfied with that. And that was the hay grasses out here somewhere. I can't see it. I can't see it very well. Okay, well I'll remember that it is here. Maybe we can put like a block around it or just something to indicate that it exists over there. Yeah, okay, we'll keep things going as well. Because I have, I left it paused the entire time. Trying to get progress and I leave it paused. That's not good of me. So the other thing we need to do is take a look at our blocks. So we've got 152 marble blocks. Now I would I would rather prefer to keep um, the marble for just sort of special indoor -y areas, but uh, given that that's the most blocks we have, I probably will end up just spending it on walls. So is there any place in particular that I want to be placing walls at the moment? Apart from maybe double walling that, but even that's not a big thing. I think it's just rebuilding rebuilding things is the main priority, so we'll place it down and uh, I believe we'll have the marble for it. Uh, wait a second. I think we may have just used some. Uh, is that sandstone? That's sandstone down there. Okay. Major break risk from Jabir. I'm guessing it's because of your son and you're feeling terrible and rebuffed by a lot of people. See, you, you have a positive relation with... Your positive relation towards other people is good, but their relation of you is, yeah, so-so. Hmm, it's not good. But we'll pull through. We have in the past and we will in the future. <laughs> but on to another night. Morning's hit on us. So I'm wondering. we we'll get some doors in and we'll probably end up turning these into prisoner rooms or sort of... Yeah, probably prisoner rooms I think will be the best thing for it. So, prison rooms, so we get four prison rooms technically. Then we'll get our colonists to have the rooms inside once again. And I'm also thinking, because I'd love to make it a, sort of like an isolated medical ward of sorts. With that said, I could probably even turn maybe this into a corridor. So they have to break down two sets of walls to get out. It's a thought. Hmm. I'll have to see. People are doing jobs quite dil diligently. They are excellent. So, research. Ah, that's right. Because we were trying to push towards getting whereabouts. Is it deep drilling? Now, I don't know what type of resources we will be able to find or get our hands on, but my hope is that we'll be able to get some components. I gather that the getting components is just as rare, but it's still it's worth a shot considering uh, we can't spot any components on the map. We've got enough steel, but no components. Uh, the other thing is the pilot holes or drilling holes through the mountains, but I don't generally like the look of it because it really destroys the mountains. But if we uh, become more desperate, given A, so we don't have any more traders, if we don't get any traders anytime soon, then I might end up giving it a try. But I'd rather not because components are always in small pockets and it doesn't really help. What's happening? Sad wonder? Okay, well. That's fine, and you are wandering inside, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, temperature as well. I guess it's, it is technically indoors, this area. Mm. Oh, sorry, outdoors. 20 degrees, roughly. Oh, drop, it's dropping a bit. And this area is not keeping f frozen, but we do have a lot of corn and a lot of food, so I'm wondering. Spoils in two years, spoils in nine days. So we really don't want to keep a lot of... Uh, 
simple meals around the place if we can help it. Unless we um, cook them fast. Also, I just realised, because we have a path running through here, we want to just split this zone into two. Mm, I don't think they will end up building on the concrete tiles. I'll just see. Oh, it doesn't even have a fertility number. So I'm going to assume that they won't even build on it, but... Just so it looks nice, I think I will still end up splitting it in two. So, go into zones. Clear allowed area. Uh, wait a second. It's not an area, it's a zone. De delete zone. There we go. So we'll just pull it right through the center. And that split it in half. Of course it would. Okay, we'll just mark this as a new growing zone then. Uh, do we want to line it up or do we want to extend it? I think lining it, just keeping it as is will be fine. And make sure to mark it for corn. See, corn plant and replanting as well, because I did. That's allow sowing, and okay, they both allow sowing. I wasn't too sure if I actually disabled that on a previous episode. I think I did disable it. Just with the intention that hey, we'll shift the corn to another place, but yeah, because it was right up against the wall, but we just. But I decided that it may not be a good thing. If you have another thought, feel free to leave it in the comments, but that's probably how I'll leave it for the time being. And uh, we also need to put some floors in these rooms and some doors. So let's see. Yeah, doors. Actually, what am I doing? There is a door here. It's just a little hard to see. Yeah, wooden door. Because of the chunk. Because someone hasn't done it yet. So, who's closest? Foo. You're going to clean some dirt? No, you're not. You're going to haul that one block out. And someone will go around chopping that tree. Still think that the uh, trees shouldn't be allowed inside. I think that's a little bit odd, but that's my opinion there. Uh, major break uh, major break risk, which is Jabair again. Yeah, Jabair is always going to be difficult to keep control of. But uh, the smoked leaf is coming on quite nicely, and we should get some, hopefully, sometime soon. So let's do one other thing as well. So it is its floors, and we'll get... What am I doing? I shouldn't really be doing floors right now. And the reason why I say that is... I think walls come first. And you failed. Hold on, why? Exactly what we need right now. Failure. Okay, but I will keep the wooden floors. Just currently it is everywhere and we don't have the resources to deal with it. Uh, deal with it replacing everything. So I think it's easiest just to keep it. And since there are going to be walls put up, let's see, there's a uh, sandstone. There's sandstone tiles. Oopsie daisies. Don't want tiles. I actually want walls. That'd be a bit of an issue. I mean, it'd still look like walls, but we don't get the same bonuses, unfortunately. And... there we go. I guess we'll also remember just to mark the... cancel that. Excellent. So we'll also get a wooden door. And that makes those two rooms, and we only have to fix up this room up here, so... Guessing just... we'll do standstill again. It's going to be a bit of a mismatch, which... is going to kind of annoy me more than it should, but we'll deal with it. Oops, it is easy. There we go. Cancel that one. Place the door in once again. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah. We also need the outside wall. Oh, having the inside walls help. Yeah, uh, I guess I can. I'll just mark everything. There's, people will get around to building it eventually. Though, that said, people will also probably start spending resources. I like, put five on. I mean, each wall is, what, five sandstone? They might put one, one sandstone on one of all and then another one block on a one bit of sandstone another uh, block and then you get this sort of thing where you got resources spread over all the blocks and not enough to complete any number any one of them I think we'll just deal with that and do I want to build a wall here I mean it's nice and spacious I might just let it be I don't think there's any need for a wall there it's a bit of a shame that there is going to be a difference in flooring but we'll say, we'll give it like, we a reason, it's a historical thing, you know. Um, people decided, hey, we'll extend onto this building and we'll give it our own flair from this era. So, era one was wooden floors, era two was stone floors, era three was nothing and era four was bog bodies. The end. <laughs> Not really, but it's just something to, to consider. When people do build buildings and they do decide to extend on older buildings, they do tend to put their own flair or modify it. So, I just realised something. Uh, doesn't look like people are planting anything. What are people doing then? Plant cuts. Growing is not set high enough on anyone. Well, 
I'm going to just bump it up again and plant cut can always be at a 1 because it always needs to be done personally. Yep, like I was saying, it always needs to be done and they're doing it right now. Because that will give us the food, though I guess we probably could do with less meals because we can't get this cold enough because of components. Which is more the research side of things, so actually, Fu, you are doing research, yes. So make sure to bump you down to a 2 and you can just just resource, resource research 24-7. Because your skill currently is a 17. Wow should be blasting through it which actually I don't think you will be the reason why is, I mean you're doing it fast but you probably do it faster with a advanced bench from memory and yeah, let's see high-tech research bench uh, research is sped up by high-tech tools requires power well we don't actually have the components for 10 10 components it's way too many we cannot spend that that said I could probably remove a turret to give us a couple of extra components couple meaning uh, exactly two components I don't think it's a, a chance to get any more than that and that is I don't think that's even enough for a cooler that said I could actually that's I was just thinking hey passive coolers because that is a thing given that this is the alpha 15 but passive coolers uh, where am I going it's under this one under production uh, it is here somewhere and uh, no it's not because it's under temperature Campfire core vent. Wait a second. Derpy derp. What am I saying? You haven't actually done the research for it yet. It's right at the top. Oh well. We'll deal with that. But uh, smithing is nearly done. I'm guessing Fu will probably finish it uh, in the morning. Because people have uh, gone to bed. Always a shame that, uh, that we're having to do the uh, long haul again. Oh, oh, there we go. We got the smithing. And Tashi and Bertha have got food poisoning from the simple meals. Which, like I said, they only have a short lifespan. So, let's see. Research um, probably won't harm, uh, won't hurt to do the basil calling now. I know trying to run to was it the deep mining would be useful, but we'll have to hold off. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is to just turn the uh, simple meal count down to I'd say 15. Let's see. Uh, whoops, gone past that. Uh, 15. People should be able to eat it without getting food poisoning. I've got a feeling that... Ooh, that's nice, they're frozen. Still going to have a feeling though that some of these have spoiled, but I don't know until someone eats them, which is also a bit of a shame. But we have no issues with food, that's for sure. Meat, of course we will, but uh, I don't think that's a big issue. Now, we've got a wooden horse troop in. Okay. Now I wonder if we can get a chest table up. That doesn't require components. And it also will provide an alternative source of joy, or even a billard's table, which we don't actually have the cloth for, but we might have the cloth when actually someone gets around to building, uh, building, planting the cotton. Seems like we've all also already planted some of the uh, rice. So I wonder, can we just get rid of these chunks? They're kind of in the way. I've got a feeling people will haul them when they plant that area. Possibly. Who knows? Let's say our marriage area is nice and set up. It's a little small, but I feel that uh, should satisfy enough people. Yeah, a lot of people are doing a lot of planting. It's kind of needed, and I'm guessing has anyone done a field out here? There is a field. There it is. Nope. So still got a lot of work to do, and people are unrestricted, and the animals are assigned to that area. Okay, that's fine. Is it worth hunting some animals? Wait a second. It is worth hunting those alpha beavers. I got a feeling a lot of the trees on the map have already disappeared because of the alpha beavers. Yeah, because I rem I recall there was a lot more trees, um, probably a bit more heavily spaced in some areas. Yep, those alpha beavers have done a bit of damage. I, w I also suspect that the wildfire wildfires haven't helped at times. But we'll have to see what we can do in the morning. Now, I'm just double-checking the numbers, because Fu will start researching, well, when she gets up. Um, yeah, because rest is only at 100. Because I'm really curious to see how f how much, um, yeah, I mean, we can see it already happening there, but the numbers are actually going down. So, if I recall correctly, I think um, the maximum skill level a person can have is 10, before it starts going down or deteriorating, because they haven't done it for a while. So, even during the night, Fu wasn't uh, getting it done. 
you know, I wasn't doing any research, so we're losing some of the skill, but it is steadily building, or it builds up a lot faster than it deteriorates, which is good. Especially with the 150 modifier, I got the impression that's to probably uh, try and stop people who are useless at certain tasks, just, you know, repeatedly um, going at a task, sort of like, um, what's their name? Whitaker in the first series of RimWorld. Completely useless at everything, and we decided to put them onto art because for some reason they could art. So they were put on art and their skill. Well, wasn't that fantastic? But they did start to level up before I think they died? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they died. Anyhow, we got the passive callers, so that's one thing. We can't really use them right now, but something it's it's gonna be useful in the future, that's for sure. So let's see, where are we going next? I think machining, yeah, because that was relying on smithing. And that should get, get us closer to the deep mining. Okay, research prerequisites is microelectronics basics. Yep, high tech research bench, which. Wait a second, let's double check. High tech research bench, where are you? Okay, I'll be back in one sec. You know, so I'm looking at this and I'm going, hmm, what can we do? And I also just. Like, I've probably been glazing over every time I've looked at it, but. Uh, this actually requires a high-tech research bench, and that requires 10 components. And it also needs uh, the multi-analyzer, which is a whole nother item. That's not easy. We don't... we have... we have nowhere near the number of components. And yeah, we need the high-tech research bench, which is 10 components, plus the extra components needed to build the uh, well, multi-analyzer. Because it is a... Um, not a component, but a um, comparison. Companion. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, but we'll set it on machining, I think. Once again, it's on to another night. So there is one thing that I am considering to do, considering that I uh, will do, and that's to do maybe a few more, a few progressive hops. Because at the moment, all of this is very mundane. And it has been pointed out before that this is a little boring, and it's more the base building which people would like to see. Now, don't have an issue with that, but I also want to make sure that... Um, it's all coherent, so when people watch it, they can see what is happening, when it's happening. But uh, it is something I'll be considering doing, and so I'll reiterate that. Um, just doing some consecutive hops, some t not time lapse as such, but uh, just jumping forwards. Just because at the moment, like I said, there's a lot of planting and a lot of hauling, and nothing much is happening. Which, thank you, Cassandra, that's useful, but. Uh, we need components, and components aren't coming our way, but I just realised, don't we? Ah, that's a shame. Because I was just thinking, hey, don't we have some scythers around the place? Because they have, um, I think they, I don't know if they have components, but I know they have plasteel. So we could have built a bench to deconstruct them, but I just realised they probably were destroyed in one of the uh, ceiling collapses. Which has happened a few times. It is a shame. And there we go. We've got some doors. I think that, well, apart from this wall area here, that's probably, well, and this door. Let's place that in. That's everything that needed to be done to the building. Double check. What is this? This is a wooden floor print. Okay. Well, we'll get the, well, we want some, what's that? Probably sandstone walls. Looks like we've got more slate. Nope, that's granite. My mistake. So we'll just at least make uh, mark that to be done. And... Well, that should um, in-house the entire place. In-house, enclose. There we go. There. Get that in, and officially that would be the last door before the entire place is, like I said, enclosed in once again. But I think we're also missing another thing down here. It is a pathway to, well, one to our shed. Backyard shed. Or the gardener's box. Uh, let's see, where is it? I'm wanting floors. Now, I we have been using concrete for all of it, so we'll continue with the concrete, despite how ugly it looks. So it only requires what is it, one steel. Now, paved tile. Okay. Neutral and looks. It's really quite ugly. Just out of double checking, it's not negative. Oh, so concrete is actually negative. Well. That's not good. And I don't think paved tile, paved tile requires more steel. I mean, we don't have another use for the steel. Okay, well, we're going to hook into paved tile and I might end up replacing the rest of this area eventually. So, paved tile. We'll just build it 
right around our plant again. So something like this, this, and uh, might just put a door. Oh, that's going to annoy me so much because everything's just off by one. How about this? I'll go and shift the building. I think that's going to work best for us. Shift the building. Uh, also cancel the rest of the concrete, or do I just deal with it? I think I deal with it for the time being. There we go. Now we won't have some. Now the area won't be negative because I don't want to waste the. Oh, yeah, there we go. We go have a marriage. I was wondering when this was going to happen. Let's see what happens. Sort down to a one when people get around. Okay, and where's food? There we are. Food's coming in. Is everyone here? You know, the marriage spot is here. You guys are meant to stand on it. And the beginning of the ceremony? Yeah, cool. Let's see how this goes. Out of curiosity, do we get any social from it? Let's see. Yeah, just double checking that there aren't any better tabs to look at. Nope. Okay, we'll just stay on this one. Or none of them. How about that? There we go. They're actually standing closer. And Bertha, come on, get in. There's places for everyone to stand. Are we going to see any love hearts? Are we going to see any positive thoughts? Let's actually speed things up. Pleasant environment? Yep, of course. It's the intention why I made it a beauty, a beauty spot. A marriage spot. And that was it. Now they're celebrating the occasion. Got married, honeymoon. Got married, honeymoon phase. Cool. How long does this last? One season, 14 days. Wow. That's a positive mood buff. How about that? You don't need any drugs to get that level of mood. And Bertha, you attended a wedding. How long does that last? Nine days. So weddings are really good. How about that? Um, what is it? People are partying then? Let's see. What are they doing? Uh, you are attending marriage ceremony, wandering, relaxing socially. Cool. Well, I think that's actually an excellent point to wrap it up for this episode. So we have got a little bit done uh, getting the plant set up. Uh, I think next episode I'll do a time lapse, maybe not time lapse, but time jumps, just to get things and make sure that things are progressing at a relatively fast speed. The less I drag it on, the better, I think. Anyhow, if you have anything to say, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, if you decide to hit the like button, it definitely helps this channel. I don't think that made any sense, but oh well, I worded. I didn't fumble on it this time. But as I've said in the past, and will say in the future, I'll see you around sometime.